Yeah. Uh, hello. Um, I'm just gonna make a quick video. Uh, I don't know when Trick or Treat starts. Here, I assume like five. It's five o'clock right now, which means I have to get into my Halloween costume because I'm gonna go trick or treating for in one block. That's it. Because I need to grow up, you know, and uh, you know that that's a that's a really suckish part of life is when you have to grow up and realize that you're too old to go trick or treating. I'm not a kid anymore. You know what I mean? It, it, it's it's di you know different. Um, you know, when you're a kid, you're excited to go trick or treating and get candy. But it seemed like every year it just got less and less exciting. And so, um, you know, I mean, I love Halloween, but I didn't seem to do too much this year. I mean, I went to go see Halloween in the theater. How much, you know, how much can you really do? If, you know, just, I mean, I carved a pumpkin. Um, and took my I took my cousins trick or treating. I went to Fright Hike. I mean, yeah, I, I did a good amount, um, but uh, you know, it just doesn't feel the same. I think a lot of that has to do with my medication that I'm taking. Um, uh, my doctor is taking me off Vyvanse, uh, Xanax, and uh, Valium. Um, Basically, you know, the Valium and Xanax, I think, uh, had just been, you know, giving me no, like, emotion or feeling towards anything. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I mean, you guys remember me uh, a few months ago when I was pumped to do, like, every movie, like, do this movie, do that movie. I don't know what happened. I really don't know. And so I'm basically going to be um, sticking to Adderall instead of taking Vyvanse and Adderall. I think I think it's a lot to do with that because after when it wears off, I, I get really tired and kind of like um, kind of like depressed in a way, and I don't like it. Um, uh, so I mean, uh, I'm sticking to Lamictal, Lamotrigine, the, that medication. Um, and, uh, oh boy, I believe, I'm, it's, it's been like a year now since I made that video of, um, me, like, Sarah, Sarah Cole is killing me. I think, um, I think you guys remember that video. Um, but, that's crazy. Uh, trigger training, uh, today, I'm going to be going by myself. Uh, I've been myself, uh, for about, like, like past couple months, I believe. I mean, it, uh, you know, when I come here at home, um, I no longer have work. I I I, uh, I kind of got laid off, if if you will. I mean, they they only needed me for Halloween season, seasonal uh, kind of thing. So uh, that that's I'm done working there for right now. I don't know if if I'm gonna be uh, accepted to go work back there. I mean, that'd be cool. Um, if not, you know, what can you do? I mean, you know, whatever. What can you do? Uh, I'm in lifeguard training class, so, you know, it's another job opportunity for me. And I think that would be a better environment for me, too, anyway, to be out by the water. And, and it, 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 it's, it's different because you have to be, it's not necessarily, like, what your job is, you know. I mean, if you're working at a horror, you know, um, costume store, you know, all these makeup effects and, you know, these costumes and, you know, all this cool stuff. It doesn't matter if, if your, you know, employees and your managers are not respectful or they don't treat you right or they're not good, you know, or they're not nice. Um, then that makes it uh, a terrible job. You know, just like if I got a lifeguard job. You know, I'm out by the beautiful ocean and the water and all this stuff. It doesn't matter, um, you know, if, if, if the other, if the staff, or, you know, all of them, um, are, you know, just assholes that are, they're, they're cruel, the, then that's, that's not, that's not good, you know, that, that's not, you know, so, um, but I think the reason why, uh, you know, I, I didn't do quite the best at my job, or, um, you know, I think it had to do a lot with my medication. I think it had to do with the Vyvanse and Adderall kind, kind of going together. I don't know if the Adderall is, is causing this. I mean, in the Adderall, I'll take that in the morning, 
and I'll feel fine. I'll be awake and like focused and this and that. And that's kind of what I really need, um, necessarily want because I have a hard time sleeping. And so I'm going to be put on. Um, I, I saw my doctor this morning on you know Halloween. You know how, how funny is that? Saw my doctor this morning, and I'm going to be put on serotonin, um, which is uh, a, a, another word. Um, for uh, Zoloft, I believe it's an SSRI. I'm not a big fan of the SSRIs. I really, I really don't. I'm not. I mean, I, I, I took, I used to take Paxil, um, and I, I used to like it at first, but then it, you know it, it got, it, it didn't work for me. Um, you know, I started to get depressed, angry, out of control. My, my body was twitching like electrical feelings, and then I, then I took. Um, what was that, Loraxa or, or, um, or something like that, it, you know, the SSRIs are definitely not my favorite, I mean, um, you know, hopefully, this, this, this medication, um, Zoloft, I, I, I would just, I just prefer to call it serotonin, serotonin, just, it's just a cooler name, um, that's for morning, uh, I guess, to help some of my anxiety, um, keeping with the Adderall in the morning. And then at night, I'm getting put on lorazepam, which is a benzodiazepine, a.k.a. Ativan, and, um, and that's, I guess, that's to help me sleep at night and calm my anxiety down. Um, basically, that's uh, only for, like, two weeks, I believe, uh, taking the Ativan, because uh, it takes two weeks to finally recognize the effect of Zoloft. So we'll see how it goes. You know, I mean, I'm glad to get off a Valium and Xanax. I mean, they had their time, you know, but they, they don't, they don't need it, you know, they don't need to be around anymore, you know, just like other medications in the past, you know, they were there for that. You are now running on reserve battery power. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Thank you. Um, and, you know, I, I don't know, you know, I, I've gone through so many medications and this started right in, I think, in September of 2009 um, when they were, you know, diagnosing me with ADD and ADHD and wanted to, you know, keep my focus on track and I was refusing medications and I was not working well with any of them. And I don't even remember quite all of them that I, I took. I, I remember all the ones I took in 2011, I mean 2010 and 2011, but 2009 is like a blur to me. Um, but, you know, I mean, the first medication that really took effect for me was, was Paxil, and I started taking that in February. And that, that helped me with my, my, with my depression for a little while. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, then I just didn't like it. I, I've been on Lamictal for basically about uh, over two years. Um, it's amazing, uh, uh, you know, um, that I've been on it for so long. It's helped me. I mean, it, it it's kind of like an average day thing for me now. It's not like, oh, you know, oh, it's that medication. It's more like that's that's me. I mean, that's that's the medication I take. You know, I, I'm not a big fan of drugs. I mean, you know, I, it, basically these prescribed medications are, some of them are as addicting as cocaine and heroin and, and, and crack or whatever, like Adderall makes me, like, focus and awake all in the morning, you know, and then after school, I'm, like, worn down. That's kind of, like, how meth, meth is or, or crack or whatever. That's kind of what it does. Um, and so, you know, that, that, that's kind of, like, I think it's just too many drugs in my system, you know. I, I need, I have a hard time sleeping, and I need to sleep well at night. I need to feel, like, normal again. Like, I mean, not necessarily normal. I just need to feel good again, like, like healthy and, and it kind of bring me back to Ryan Rickert, you know, the director, because lately I have not been the same, and it really upsets me, because I know I'm better than this, you know, I want to get out Destiny Part 1 and Part 2, I want to um, work on a, another project um, that I, I've been really thinking about working on the past couple of days, I've been thinking about it, and I think I'm going to fall through on it, as long as I get, you know, a cast and crew, then it's a done deal, but, um, yeah, I just I, I just been feeling really down and just not me uh, lately, and I just don't know what it is. And I think decreasing all these medications are going to help. But I I don't know if there's a Xanax withdrawal because I, I stopped taking it a few days ago, and you know I, I don't know. It's I, I've had more anxiety in in in, uh, in school during the day. I think that's a, an effect from it. And then the Valium, I'm going to take a half one for a few days, and then eventually just drop it, drop off of it, 
and you know that, that that's just how it is with medications. You know, you're gonna you're gonna have to go through those challenges, no matter what. So, um, yeah, I'm on the low reserve battery power, and it's 510, and I assume trick or treating is starting really soon. I think it's six to eight, or it's five to eight. I have no maybe 5:30. I don't know. I have to I have to find that out. It's 5:10 right now, so I need to I need to go. I just wanted to make this quick video to let you know that I'm getting off three medications and I'm going to be on new ones. So I'll keep you guys updated on how I feel on the, the new medications I'll be taking. Uh, I'm sticking to Adderall and Lamotrigine, but I'm getting off all the other ones. I'm going to be getting put on uh, serotonin and um, and uh, what's the other one? Um, Lazapam, Adapam. So we'll see how those medications go and see how I feel. You know, I really just I hope I don't feel like a zombie anymore. I just I feel I feel like I'm on Haldol Haldol lately. I don't know. I just feel not me. Like I just don't feel like you know Ryan Rickard. I don't even know exactly what's going on for the most part. It's like oh yeah, that's there, but who gives a shit? You know I, I want to go see Halloween the original, and I went there with the audience and you know I I just watched it. And I'm like all right, you know I I, I mean you know, I, I would usually be like shaking with excitement. I was not like that at all. So, you know, whatever. So, I'm going to go, and I will talk to you guys later. I don't want to, this video to just completely shut off, because, I mean, I think this is a good video, so. And I don't want the video to be too long, so I'm going to go now. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you guys later. I think I'm going to make a video tonight, um, show you my Halloween costume and some Halloween candy I believe I might get. And, uh, and I uh, wish you all happy Halloween. And wish me a uh, happy job interview tomorrow. Basically, at my school, we have to dress up and, like, we have to go to, like, a pretend meeting. Like, basically, if I was in an interview, like, actually, um, during college or after college, they want to show us exactly how it could go. It's dumb, um, but uh, I think I'll give a video on that, too. So, all right, well, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, happy Halloween. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you can comment and let me know what you guys think of this video. I know this is taking up time on your special holiday, a lot of people's favorite holiday. You know, it's not my favorite holiday. Um, my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving combined with Black Friday. I consider those, those two as the same thing. Um, and that's my favorite. Christmas is not my favorite. Halloween is not my favorite. None of them are my favorite. My favorite is Thanksgiving slash Black Friday. And that's always going to be that way. I, I love November. I don't know what it is, but... All right. Well, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, happy Halloween, and uh, let me know your thoughts on my new medications. All right. Talk to you guys later. All right. Bye.